Hey guys, thank you for joining another episode of Mukbang with your host, Dong Diggity, and side of Kimchi. Kimchi's just chilling there. Mm. Hey. Gang, gang, gang. <laughs> Alright, today I will be cooking. And so that is why Kim is on the side to make sure that I don't burn this house down. So today I'll be making a shrimp fried rice. Super Asian, but yes I will. Oh, you need soy sauce? Yes, I do need a soy sauce. That's for you later. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Those of you who are in the East Coast, hope you guys staying warm and stay inside because I know it is freaking cold. Did you know? We're East Coast? Yeah, it's like storming like... Bomberg and ding ding ding. Here? Oh yeah. Really? Yeah, they're having a storm. Damn, lucky. Yeah. So here I have onion. It's lucky. Yeah, she's into that whole <laughs> cold thing. Onion, jalapeno, and green onion. This is extra virgin olive oil. Shrimp. Rice. And those huevos. All right. First thing is we cook. We heat up the pan. You don't have to shake it. And I don't know how much, but no, just, just eyeball it enough, yeah. like that. And it is going ham. Thank you, Kimmy. Now you could just do your thing. So on a medium heat, I will... It has been so cold here, but now it's finally warming up. And never mind my nose, I know you see it. Oh, I didn't know until you pointed out. Yes. It's, um, I got a cold sore. Is that called? Is that what's it called? Cold rash? Because we've been going snowboarding almost every day. And it was like one. We even went there when it was negative one. Yeah, so negative one Fahrenheit. So you cook it enough. I don't know how long you cook it for, but you cook it enough until maybe it's good to eat. No idea. Gosh, I'm so popular. There's so many people messaging me these days. No, it's it's because <laughs> I'm um, preparing for a bachelor party this weekend. It's nothing crazy. We're just going to have a guy's time at a cabin. Are you just saying that because I'm here? <laughs> I have alibi at least. <laughs> yep, first thing in the morning we'll be flying to Vegas. I mean, we'll be driving down to uh, Wisconsin. And hanging out there. And then we'll add shrimp. And shrimp probably needs to cook more and so you cover them with this vegetable like a blanket. So they won't be cold anymore. And Kimi like to watch me cook because I never cook. And you only get to see it once in a million years. Now I make it hot. Although these shrimps are already cooked, but just 
So that is frozen. Until you think it's Gucci. Not yet. Seems like so onion creates a lot of water, so it seems like I'm creating a stew. When that happens, you add more heat. <laughs> In a way, I'm learning how to cook fried rice now, so. This frozen shrimp, frozen shrimp. Ooh, I should have made it with butter. No, it's too late now. All right, so I'm gonna create this center. And crack me eggs. And make sure they cook. I don't know how long it usually takes to cook. The reason we don't put rice in first is so that egg do not mix with rice. Like, make it all mushy scrambled egg rice. So we make sure to put uh, cook egg first. Right? So it's somewhat solid when you are right before you put rice in. Yeah. It's amazing. This is like probably the quickest like gourmet style somewhat meal you could have at home. And plus there's vegetables in there too. Oh my gosh. So now you have your egg. Now you chop them up. Throw town on them, chop them into pieces. Now you mix it with your vegetable. Oh my goodness, it looks amazing. And now you add the rice. And on the rice, you put soy sauce. I don't know how much, but start a little. Depends on how much soy sauce you eat with your rice, I don't know. Depends how salty you want it. And then you cook this gangsta and you mix it. I feel like a celebrity. Mm. I assume you should put more soy sauce than what I did because your rice is white. Some people do it with salt rather than soy sauce. Oh, and you can even use gluten-free soy sauce. 
What is it called? Tamari. Ajburi. So this is a professional way to do it. I seen Kimi do it sometimes, I think. Like I wanna be able to do that, you know. You can. <laughs> Good. Looks amazing. No, you don't need butter. This is amazing. Oh yes, this is good. And there you have it. You have a shrimp fried rice. Easy at home. Um, if you would like to make it a little more spicy and more Korean style, you could add kimchi. Now, we need to make it visually gangster, so I'm going to take this away. So now we have a plate. And you know the bowl that I, I had rice in? I fill it. It's about visual, okay? So you fill this up. This one tried to run away. <laughs> Silly. And you press it down. You could do it with your fist, but it's hot, so you can't. Oh, just, you should do it with your face. That's the professional way. But I have this on my nose, so. That's the professional way. Can you show me? So you press this down. And you wake them up from hibernation. <laughs> like this. Voila. This perfect igloo. And you make it more pretty. I like to eat my fried rice with ketchup and even with seaweed. There you have it. How cute is that, Kimi? It's really cute. In it. I'll give you a bite. No, it's okay. And then you give him a hair. No. I'm so messy. Now it's a visual gangster. Oh no, don't eat me. <laughs> Yum. It's good. Should I should go and tail less shrimp? Tail less what? Tail less shrimp. Why? They all have tail. Oh, like the shell? Hmm. Uh, what? I didn't see it. Just eat it. Mmm. Best of best school. Careful because the center of the right, right, will be hot. Because we kept pressing it. Mm. 
don't know, even when I was a child, I always learned to just eat it when it's hot because that's the best. So, even though if it's freaking hot, I still eat it. And yes, I do burn my top of my what is that called? Roof of your mouth. But at the moment, you don't even know. So live for the moment. Cheers. So yeah, that was our, uh, or my cooking video. I know I'm not the best chef, so. If you guys like it, I'll probably do it at least like once a week. <clears throat> Simple cooking video like this. You could technically eat the shell, but I don't like that crunchy other feels like I'm eating an eggshell. I don't know. Oh boy. Oh, there's a beautiful shrimp right here. Kimchi or no kimchi? No, that's okay. Mmm. Well, the shrimp is really good. Mmm. It's because they were nurtured under the blanket of rice and vegetable. So what? Yep. It's a bit weird because I cook this and I'm eating it. And it tastes good. Oh, does it taste good because I cooked it? There's so many shrimp. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 